Hello guys. When you think of bodybuilders, I'm sure you think of a whole lot of muscle mass and a very bulky body. But what you don't know is that getting there requires radical change in your entire lifestyle with extreme training and also PEDs. We all love to see huge bodybuilders with superhuman-like body proportions. But after bodybuilders retire and stop training like they used to, the reverse transformations seem no less surprising. Today, you will see athletes who say goodbye to tens of pounds of muscles and have changed beyond recognition. So, let's take a look at what happened to some of the most famous bodybuilders after they retired. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now and stay tuned with HulkTube Motivation. Arnold Schwarzenegger Let's start with the legendary Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was nicknamed the Austrian Oak. Even though he's also an actor, businessman, and even a former politician, he was most known for his achievements in bodybuilding. He participated in many bodybuilding contests and ended up winning 14 world titles. This included seven Mr. Olympias, which was a new world record for that time. The record has now been broken by many bodybuilders, but back in the days, the Austrian Oak was considered the best in the bodybuilding business. After he retired in 1980, he stopped training like usual. That resulted in his muscle mass decreasing significantly. But considering he still spent time working out, the change isn't that drastic. You'll be seeing some bodybuilders that changed a lot more drastically further on in the video, so stay tuned. Dorian Yates Dorian Yates, the English retired professional bodybuilder, was known for his wide and thick back, but that wasn't his only achievement. Yates won the Mr. Olympia title six times consecutively from 1992 to 1997. He's also known to have the fifth highest number of Mr. Olympia in history. In 1997, he won his final Mr. Olympia and retired from his competitive career. After that, he continued to work out, so his change might not be that bad, but still pretty drastic. Let's take a look. Ronnie Coleman Ronnie Coleman is regarded as one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. The American retired professional bodybuilder has won the Mr. Olympia title eight times in a row. He trains so hard that he even has a pretty serious back injury due to heavy lifts, but he still kept going. He finally retired in 2007 after he scored his fourth place in the Mr. Olympia competition. And here is Ronnie after 14 years after the end of his bodybuilding career. He is still grinding after going through more than 13 surgeries. Jay Cutler Fourth on the list is the retired American professional bodybuilder, Jay Cutler. Throughout his bodybuilding career, he's won Mr. Olympia four times in 2006, 2007, 2009, and 2010. He retired in 2013 after placing sixth in Mr. Olympia. After his retirement, he still found success in many different business ventures, and he's a millionaire now. And with all that, He's among the very few bodybuilders who have kept up with their muscular bodies even after retirement. Flex Wheeler Kenneth Flex Wheeler is an American professional bodybuilder. He's one of the bodybuilders for whom steroids turned out to be really disastrous. In his career, he won the Arnold Classic four times, which was a record for his time. Arnold Schwarzenegger himself described Flex Wheeler as one of the greatest bodybuilders he had ever seen for his pleasing symmetry. But in 1999, Wheeler discovered that he had focal segmental glomerulosclerosis, which was a kidney disease. Even though the condition was in his inheritance, steroid use made it a lot worse for him. In 2019, he actually had to get his right leg amputated as a result of this health issue. Now, Wheeler has started going back to the gym, but after going through all this, his body got pretty bad. Kevin Lavrone Kevin Lavrone is a retired American IFBB professional bodybuilder. Throughout his professional bodybuilding career, he competed in 68 different IFBB professional contests. Among these 68 contests, he placed runner-up of Mr. Olympia in 1992, 1995, 2000, and 2002. 
Beside that, he was also the winner of the Arnold Classic in 1994 and 1996. However, in 2003, he retired, and after that, he made some crazy comebacks again in 2016 and 2018. But now he's lost pretty much all his muscle mass. Paul Dillett, the Canadian IFBB professional bodybuilder. He repeatedly participated in the Mr. Olympia tournaments and impressed the audience with the volume of his muscles, but he never came in first. Back in the days, at his peak, Paul weighed 309 pounds with a height of 6 foot 2. But after announcing his retirement in 2012, we really can't describe his body as impressive, and the comparison is pretty crazy, right? Gunter Schlierkamp On number 8, we have Gunter Schlierkamp. The German retired IFBB professional bodybuilder is known to win the IFBB GCN show of strength in 2002. And he's also popular for finishing above the eight-time Mr. Olympia winner, Ronnie Coleman, at the GNC show of strength. But after he retired, he didn't really keep up with his body. And well, the results were pretty drastic. Tom Prince. Next up, we have another retired American professional bodybuilder, Tom Prince. He won his IFBB Pro card after he won the NPC National Championships in 1997. He also finished third in the Night of Champions back in 2001. But while preparing for the Night of Champions in 2003, Prince suffered a kidney failure. After his long professional career, his kidney failure brought the end of his career, and soon after, he retired. Back during his career, he had a great bulky body. But what does he look like now? Well. He looks like a normal person now. I mean, looking at him now, you would have never been able to tell that this guy had such a bulky body at one time. Sean Ray On number 10, we have Sean Ray, the retired American professional bodybuilder. Throughout his bodybuilding career, he placed in the top 5 at the Mr. Olympia competition for 12 continuous years, from 1990 to 2001. He actually ended up as the runner-up for two years. After the 2001 competition where he scored fourth place, he retired from his bodybuilding career. And since that, he's lost all his muscle mass and the comparison is pretty crazy. Mustafa Mohammed. Last but not least, we have Mustafa Mohammed, who is a retired IFBB professional bodybuilder, known especially for his thigh development. He won his first title on the World Arena in 1992 at the age of 26. And here is Mustafa 10 years after the end of his bodybuilding career. You have to admit, if you saw him on the street, you wouldn't have thought he used to be a bodybuilding star. Well, with that, we come to the end of the video. Which bodybuilder in the list do you think had the most drastic change after leaving their career? Leave your opinions in the comments below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace out.